Look at the state of this uh, garage. Every car is, well, it's as if they've been blown up. Uh, the huge big blocks of flats that are behind it, every single window is out. There's huge big holes as you go up that, that, um, that apartment. Every single floor has got a hole punched out of it. Look, you can see people up there. I don't know whether you can make them out because we're shooting against uh, the sun. But you can see people are in there. And these buildings are extremely fragile right now. They're very insecure. They're very, we've been seeing them fall, bits of building and, and masonry fall down all the time. So it's, an, it's a very, very, still a very, very dangerous situation. We're also very close. I mean, th this, is, this scene is replicated over many, many miles. It's, it's very difficult to estimate just how widespread the damage is, but we've gone through many, many streets and each one of them is, um, <laughs> is pretty much reduced to rubble or much of, of the buildings have produced rubble. Now, we're, you can see that we're in the middle of a highway, but I'm going to try and get across just to show you. Look at the, look how this huge big warehouse, which is, has been, um, half of it is still standing. A lot of it, including the goods inside, are, if we cross now, Kev, um, including the goods inside have been blown away, blown away. You, I don't know whether you can make out, but there's still a little bit of smoke very much in the distance. And there's been a helicopter, that's a fire still raging there. There's been a helicopter and fire engines and ambulances going up and down here for the best part of, well, the past, past hour that we've been here, dumping huge buckets of water on the flames. It's gone a little bit quiet, um, typically just as, as you came to us. Um, luckily, that means you can hear me. But, I mean, this devastation goes on for ages and ages. And remember, this is a country that was finding it was buckling under the economic pressure anyway from years and years of corruption it didn't it had electricity cuts hardly any electricity um, you know standard electricity during the day you couldn't find and buy ordinary items like toothpaste and soap uh, the economy was pretty much devastated anyway and this well, this will have flattened it. It, it. People won't be able to come back from this. Many people just simply won't be able to come back from it. And remember, we're still in the middle of a global pandemic where they have hundreds of people who, who they're trying to treat for a deadly disease. So the, the creaking medical infrastructure was already um, under severe strain. Last night, they just couldn't cope. This morning, they just can't cope. They're talking about um, dealing with people in the car parks. And one doctor um, talking to us called it apocalyptic. So they, they're going to find it very difficult to get back for this. And, and there's still such a huge amount of destruction. And, well, they've got to somehow get themselves together. Have a look at this car. Just one last shot before you go. This is this this scene. There are hundreds, thousands of cars all over the place. Look, someone who was just driving along the highway. The the um, air pillows have have inflated because they were going at such a even even more. How have you been coping? Do you speak any English? No English. That's a shame. Let's ask this man if he if he do you speak English? Yeah. Tell me, where were you when it happened and, and how uh, are you feeling about all of this this morning? It is upsetting, as we all know. Oh, devastating. Yes, especially the, the situation we are tracking through for the last one year. Uh, hopefully it will be the end of our miseries. Yeah, I hope and so. God bless all the people we lost. I live around 13 kilometers from here uh, at the mountains. and. Uh, it was very loud. Very loud. Very loud. Great. Well, thank you very much for talking Welcome. to us and very best of luck. I mean, an absolutely devastating, devastating scene. You two, for so many people here today and the, the rest of the day, the next few days are going to be similarly heartbreaking for so many people.